Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 I have an odd one for you today. And if you like the odd stuff, you never know what you're going to get on the channel. Definitely subscribe and like the video if you're into this stuff. But this is a JDM K-Van. Yeah, all the way from Japan. It's the first right-hand drive vehicle I've ever driven. And uh, it's so cool. And it's four-wheel drive too, this little tiny minivan. So uh, come check it out with me today. We're gonna go take a drive with the owner and see what it's all about. All right, guys, we're inside the Subaru Sambar, right? Sambar. Sambar. Yeah. And, and this is the owner, Jake. So he's gonna mainly talk about it because I don't know anything about this car, so. <laughs> and again, it's first time driving a right-hand drive vehicle, so I'm, I'm sitting in the wrong spot. But, um, <laughs> That's what everyone says. I mean, it's even weird to see people are like, whenever somebody come, whenever I take someone for a ride, and they're like, I'm sitting in the driver's seat, but I'm not driving. Yeah, all right, so we'll start up. The clutch is super light. Yeah, it's, it's well, it's a small engine, so. Oh my gosh. It is so, it, it sounds like a little lawnmower. It is basically a lawnmower engine, yeah. All right, get my belt on here. And and what's the size? 660cc. Okay. Because yeah. um, that's the that's the biggest engine that you can put in a vehicle and still be considered a K car. Oh wow, okay. That's why every every K car from like I want to say the mid-ish eight sometime in the 80s up until now all of 660cc engines. <laughs> That's awesome. And it is a five speed manual. Well, with an extra low first gear. So, with, oh, with wow. an extra low gear. It does not extra low first gear. It's an extra low gear below first. So, like, what do you push it all the way over? Yeah. And up? Yeah. It's, oh my God. This might take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. I usually don't. I never actually accidentally went into extra low. That's first gear, I would assume. Yeah. And then it is four wheel drive and you have a little button. Yeah. Oh, and then it. the little light lights up on the dashboard. Okay, oh, and that's a part-time system, I assume. Handbrake, all right, let's see if I... Uh... You have to rev it quite a bit to get it going because you know it's a small engine. <laughs> and those little marks on the dash, for some reason it only has one through three as to when to shift. Um, oh. I don't know I why four and that. five aren't on there. But that's kind of your guide for when to shift. Well, basically, when you hear the engine screaming, that's when you want to shift. It, it's so funny, though, because you're sitting right at the front of the car. You are, the, the yeah. There's no, is... there's no hood whatsoever. It's actually not horrible. Yeah, it's not as slow as you think. Up a hill, though, it is pretty bad. Okay. We're going to start seeing some, some uh, slowness. All right, I am flooring it third gear up this hill. 60 kilometers an hour. Oh, that's in kilometers Yes, that's in hour. kilometers. You probably want to shift now. All right. And this is a carbureted. It is carbureted, yes. That's funny. And the engine is in the back. It's in the very and, back. And you have to open up the bumper. Pretty much. Push down the bumper to, to go see it or service it. Yeah, you can also, on the floor in, in the rear, um, you can also remove the floor to get access to the kind of the top of the engine. I mean, really, what you see when you remove the bumper is the top of the engine, because if you noticed, <laughs> the valve cover faces towards you. It points almost straight back. And so the engine's kind of on its side almost. Yeah, first gear is kind of kind of okay. finicky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was right. harsh. Yeah, yeah, we're we're going though. Yeah, it's it. It gets there, it's just not very, just not very quickly. Now, how did you obtain this vehicle? Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Some guy imported. He imported two of them actually. It's kind of a long story as to why he had two almost identical sandbar vans. But um, he was selling both of them, and uh, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted one of these. One of the, well, I totaled my Subaru, my legacy after I hit a deer, um, and then this was kind of this was ob this was the obvious next step. Go from a very practical, very safe Subaru legacy 
to and <laughs> to this, which you know isn't honestly all that impractical. <laughs> You can see four people. You got plenty of cargo space. It has a ton of space and, I, and good leg room in the back, too. Oh, yeah. There's only two rows of seats, but... And there's no seat belts in the back, so... Oh, wow, okay. Um, if, you, if you get into an accident... Though, then again, you're really not going fast enough to get in a serious accident in this thing, usually. And sitting on the right side, it, I, it's, you got to get used to the lane placement. I'm, yeah. I'm, get, I'm probably... I, I know when I first started on this thing, I would get me way too far to the left. Right. It's funny. But it's pretty quiet as far as the engine because it's way in the back yeah. there. So you don't well, I mean, it. it's actually a bit louder than it should be because there's a big hole in the muffler. But, uh, um, yeah, for all things considered, it is quite not loud. Brakes are uh, kind of soft too, yeah. but it probably could. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong turn signal on the right. That yeah. was the white brakes. I do that all the time, especially when um, I'm in a. Oh, here you get all the way up. I think you're still in intermittent. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Little brakes and uh, drums in the back too. Yeah. So. I mean, this thing is really designed for city driving. I would imagine that when this thing was in Japan, it spent all of its life in like one or two cities. Um, just kind of putting around, doing city things. Yeah, yeah. Most of those key vans, no, key vans, key vans, key vans you'll find are white cargo vans, but this is obviously a passenger van. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that they actually released a supercharged version. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could buy these things supercharged from the factory. How much power? I have no idea how much the supercharged. I would get. I would assume the supercharged version probably made around 60 horsepower. This probably makes no more than 40. I would assume. No much if, these days. If I had to guess, probably less than 2,000 pounds. Yeah. Definitely less than 2,000 pounds. Probably like 17, 1800. <laughs> it is cool. Cool piloting it though. Yeah, it's it's unlike any other car you've ever driven. It's more like driving a golf cart than a car from what I... Right, right. That's what it sounds like almost when you first start it up. That's what it sounded like. I guess it's um, pretty top-heavy. The, the roof is... Yeah. Uh, it's a high roof in this model. Oh, here's a little curve up here. Yeah, we're gonna... It's probably gonna lean pretty good. Early in, in, on big turns. Yeah, and they're very small tires. It is very small. You have 15 uh, inch rims. 15 inch rims. But it originally came with 12 inch rims. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basic gauge is just your speed, fuel, and temp. Yeah. And um, no airbags or anything. Yeah, this no is airbag. a 91. Yeah. So I guess that was kind of before that time, too. It is like driving a bus, except the bus is the size of like a postage stamp. <laughs> so cool. Well, thanks a lot, Jake. Oh, no yeah, problem. Then, I, um, I like, you know, getting it out there, showing other people. Yeah. That's oh. one of my favorite things about driving this thing is that everyone, everyone comes up to you and asks, what is it? You know, where'd you get that? <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. No and um, guys, if you have a cool vehicle, definitely DM me on Instagram or Facebook. 
uh, for another very odd or cool car. Uh, I'd love to have it on the channel to feature and, and show the world because like I said, these these cars are are just starting to come over and no one's really experienced them before. Yeah. So, so it's super cool. But all right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.